this is the this is a prequel to Darksiders One. So when this game ends, Darksiders One begins. So this is a, actually a great starting point for people who've never played Darksiders, uh, and it's also a great uh, entry in the series for people who have played Darksiders because it gives a lot of I guess information and backstory on how the events of Part One starts. As far as story, absolutely, there's a there's a full campaign in this game. Uh, and it's very much Strife's story, right? This is the first time we've actually played as the Horseman Strife. And even though War's along for the ride, um, the main growth is in the character Strife. Darksiders uh, Genesis is made by a company named Airship Syndicate, uh, and it's a very small team, right? It's, we, our last game was Battle Chasers Night War, another isometric game. And once we finished that game, we had developed all this know-how about how to design really fun dungeons from an isometric angle that we thought, hey, what would be another type of game to play uh, from this perspective. And Darksiders came up because our founding members of the studio are the guys who founded Vigil and are the creators of Darksiders. So it was, it was kind of a no-brainer to be like, hey, wh what could we do with Darksiders? You know, it's familiar territory. Let's, let's see what this is. So it was always meant to be kind of a spin-off experiment, you know. Um, at no point did we really think, hey, let's take the mainline story, right? Because we're a very small studio, so we wanted to make something really small and personal. So it started there. But it very, very quickly became a very full, full-size Darksiders game. So even though it's not Darksiders 4, it is very much um, an entry in the series that belongs there. It's a very full game. And it's, uh, if you think of like Rogue One to Star Wars, it sets up the series, right? So when Darksiders Genesis ends, Darksiders 1 begins. So it leads right into part one. So the... The typical dungeon crawling hack and slash game, the Diablo style, which is a lot more about kind of uh, power and loot, uh, where Darksiders Genesis differentiates from that is that our game is still very much a Darksiders game. So it's not just a hack and slash, click, 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 click. It is deliberate gameplay. There's combos, right? There's, there's very specific tactics you'll use on the battlefield. It isn't just about stats and power. It's about abilities and capabilities. But our game is not just a combat game. You don't go from room to room, clear the enemies, next room, clear the enemies. It is very much a platforming puzzle game as well. And I want to say that there's a philosophy of this game of freedom, the way we've designed it. You can play in any order you want. You can play uh, single player, you can play split screen co-op, you can play online co-op. You can start the game over once you've beaten it single player in co-op with all of your you know, abilities and stuff. And you can open things for your friend that they shouldn't be uh, able to get yet in sequence break. And, and again, it gives a, a, a way to offer the players a new way to experience the game. With our approach that this game is a two character game at all times, right? So no matter if you're in single uh, player or in co-op mode, you are managing both characters. So the entire game is designed around both characters' tool sets, right? So it isn't just, oh, we made a game and tacked on co-op to it, right? There is end game content. There's, there are lots of things to do once you've completed the game, and there are lots of things to find. I want to talk about there are, there are hidden bosses. There's a lot of hidden upgrades. I mean, you saw that screen, right? There's a lot of stuff to find in this game. And, you know, people who are very, very, I guess, uh, uh, exploration driven, they might get it all the first run, but it's very unlikely. You can always go back and you know find the things after you've beaten the game that you haven't you know collected. You can uh, unlock apocalyptic mode, which really changes the pace of combat. Um, so yeah, there's there's actually quite a bit to find and quite a bit to do once you've beaten the campaign.